Hello and welcome back to ABTG. Today we're going to be talking about Kim's Convenience Season 1. This is a Canadian sitcom. Although there is a bit of drama splashed into it, it's about the Kim family. They own a convenience store in Toronto. It talks about their hardships, their challenges, and their day-to-day -day life. Which is quite interesting on, on multiple levels because the parents are, you know, immigrants. They're from Korea originally. And so it deals with their adventure, their story as immigrants in Canada. But then it also delivers this other side of things, this other aspect, where the children are much more Canadian, culturally speaking, than uh, their parents are. Straight out the gate, let me just say that Kim's Convenience is a pretty fun show. It's nothing spectacular, there's, there's nothing amazing about it, and I wasn't blown away by it the same way I was by, for example, Ted Lasso, but yeah, it's, it's a fun show. It's very character-driven. And of course it is. It's it's one of those little sitcoms where it's all based around the characters and the character interactions. And you know what? Kim's Convenience gets those characters right. Okay. See you. It gets those characters right and it gets those interactions right. The interesting thing is I, I tend to use the words, I, I suppose, um, cultural commentary or social commentary, but that doesn't really apply to Kim's Convenience because there isn't really much commentary going on. It's just discussion, I guess, about our day-to-day -day experiences and the people we meet and how everybody is so different, especially in a place as diverse as Toronto. So yes, a lot of the jokes are internal in the sense that they come from the family and their Korean culture and how they're adapting to life in Canada or rather how they've already adapted to life in Canada. But there's also comedic value in the uh, characters that come in to the store, into the convenience store, and that want to buy stuff. And I actually think that's pretty brilliant. The basic premise of having the show set in a convenience store is actually pretty smart. It enables you to have so many characters come in and say never come back again or have recurring characters in addition to having your main cast. And then let's not forget the son is also working at another place which gives the show an entirely other sandbox to play with, be it with characters and interactions and stories. So yeah, Kim's Convenience Season 1, it probably won't blow you away, it didn't blow me away, but it is a, a fun little watch. The show is pretty well written, I must say, and you can tell that it comes from people that have experience in dealing with immigration or, uh, you know, a mixing of cultures. The standout character for me really is the father, but I do feel like everybody's doing a good job. The acting is solid enough, and yeah. The characters are compelling. Can't wait to see where this show goes. So yeah, I would give this first season good. Solid good. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.